Crockett told my great granddad that he was half horse, half alligator, and a little bit touched with snapping turtle. Whew. Sounds like old Davy might have been hard to buy clothes for. <laughs> but if he'd been from here in Illinois, he might have thought he was half whitetail, half coyote, and a little bit touched with fox squirrel. Well, those are three of the most common wild mammals found here in the prairie state. Well, what are mammals anyway? <laughs> you and I are mammals. Uh-huh. Mammals grow hair. Well, <clears throat> some of us uh, more than others. <laughs> in some ways, we're exactly like the mammals that live out here in the wild. We're warm-blooded. Our body temperature stays the same year-round. We breathe through lungs. And we have backbones. The white-tailed deer is one of the best athletes in Illinois. A deer can broad jump 20 feet, clear an eight-foot fence like it isn't even there, and run 30 miles an hour. The white-tailed deer is the official state animal. A big buck may weigh close to 300 pounds and stand four feet tall. The white-tail is one of the greatest conservation success stories in Illinois history. 75 years ago, almost no deer were left in the state. Today, because of restocking and good management, there are more deer in Illinois than there were when the first settlers got here. When they get scared, deer flag. They stick their tails straight up and take off running. That's when you can see why they call them white tails. Some people say that's where the phrase hightailing it out of here came from. A beaver's overbite would... <coughs> a beaver's overbite would keep an orthodontist busy for 30 years. He can close his mouth behind his front teeth so he doesn't get a mouthful of water when he's swimming. A beaver can cut down a willow tree five inches thick in three minutes flat. They can hold their breath underwater for 15 minutes at a time. And they spend so much time swimming, their back feet are webbed. When they eat the bark off branches, beavers hold the branch from both ends and turn it. Just like you do when you eat corn on the cob. Everybody knows that beavers build dams, but I'll bet you don't know why. They do it to keep the water deep enough to cover the entrance to their lodges or burrows. Their living space is above the water line, but the entrance is submerged. Predators have to swim underwater to attack a beaver in its home. Raccoons have a black mask around their eyes that make them look like bandits. They're one of the most adaptable mammals in Illinois. They live in rock crevices, hollow trees, abandoned burrows, even old chimneys. Raccoons are one of the few mammals that do nothing to make their dens more comfortable. They don't make nests or dig them out to make them bigger. They live in their dens exactly the way they find them. Raccoons eat almost anything. What's really important to them is living near water. Wherever a raccoon's den is, it's never more than 1,200 feet from water. People used to think that raccoons washed their food before they ate it. That's not true. Some kid's mother made that up to get him to wash his hands before supper. <laughs> the raccoon's hands are almost as flexible as yours and mine. A raccoon can easily open a refrigerator door or Turn the doorknob. <laughs> you know what a marsupial is? Australia's full of them. Kangaroos, koala bears, and wombats are marsupials. They all have pouches where their babies develop after they're born. Well, we have a marsupial right here in Illinois. The opossum is the only mammal of its kind in North America. Opossums are about as big as a house cat. Their dens are found in places ranging from hollow trees in the forest to under shrubbery in the city. When baby opossums are born, 16 of them can fit into a tablespoon. <laughs> They're about the size of a navy bean and weigh six one thousandth of an ounce. They stay in their mother's pouch about 80 days until they're big enough to crawl out. <laughs> Opossums really do play possum. When they're threatened by something they can't get away from, opossums lay down, roll their eyes back in their heads, hang their tongues out, 
and play dead. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't see you coming. You know, when he wants to, a badger can dig faster than a man with a shovel. Hey, not only that, there are true stories here in Illinois of badgers digging up through blacktop roads and concrete floors. Badgers are open country mammals that have a home range of 2,000 acres or more. That's just a little more than three square miles. Badgers are squatty, pigeon-toed, and like my Uncle Stanley, they're bigger around than they are tall. <laughs> A good-sized badger only weighs about 25 pounds, but bigger animals take one look at those sharp claws and teeth and back down rather than fight them. You want tough? Badgers are so tough that they're immune to rattlesnake bite everywhere but the tip of their nose. When a badger gets cornered and all else fails, he turns around, starts digging an escape hole, and throws the dirt in his attacker's face. Bobcats get their names from their short, stubby tail that looks like it's been bobbed. A full-grown bobcat weighs about 25 pounds and is about three and a half feet long, about the same size as a cocker spaniel. Bobcats spend most of their time stalking or laying in ambush and waiting for some unsuspecting rabbit or squirrel to come along. You'll have to be pretty lucky to see a bobcat in the wild. They have terrific natural camouflage. They walk without making a sound. They'll remain motionless for hours if they have to and they rarely come out in the open. Bobcats are very vocal. They even purr like domestic cats. But if you ever hear a bobcat scream on a dark night, you won't believe a noise that big came from something as small as a bobcat. <laughs> Fox squirrels are as abundant as bobcats are rare. They live in forests, in city parks, even in residential areas. If you have trees on the street where you live, you probably have fox squirrels in the neighborhood. Huh. Fox squirrels are the biggest tree squirrels in North America. Unlike their cousins, gray and red squirrels, fox squirrels run on the ground as long as possible when something is chasing them. Then, just about the time they're going to be caught, they go up a tree. You can make a squirrel call that sounds like a squirrel barking with two half dollars. Make a circle with your thumb and index finger around one half dollar and tap it with the other. <laughs> in the fall, fox squirrels bury nuts to eat in the winter. These squirrels have such a good sense of smell that they can find a nut buried under a foot of snow. In cartoons, coyotes are constantly being outsmarted by bird brains like the Roadrunner. In real life, Coyotes are extremely adaptable. They can be found in the wild almost everywhere in the country. They have a natural ability to adapt to different types of terrain and food supply. Coyotes are one of nature's true survivors. Coyotes have been in Illinois for at least 200 years. Early settlers called them prairie wolves. A coyote is about the size of a small collie. It can run up to 40 miles an hour and its hunting range may be from 10 to 100 miles long. Coyotes run in packs and howl at dusk and dawn to keep in touch with other members of the pack. In some places, coyotes are considered pests because they threaten small game populations and livestock. Despite an open hunting season and trapping them in the winter, the Illinois coyote population continues to grow. The mammals in Illinois are the creatures most like us. Illinois mammals have adapted, and some even thrive, in the presence of people. They've learned to live with people while their natural ranges grow smaller and smaller. The least we can do is learn a little bit about them, what they look like, where they live, and most importantly, how to respect their environment. <laughs> Davy Crockett and my great granddad knew everything there was to know about the woods they lived in. They knew wild animals like you know the kids in your class. 
Even though he thought he was half of three different critters, old Davy was a pretty fair woodsman. But I bet he couldn't do this. Oh, 